So, herzlich willkommen right. zum Chaos Communications Welcome Slam. to the Chaos Communication Slam here at Congress. There you get so many wonderful things. Short time ago, we could witness the uh, world power being taken over by a robot. But who of you have ever been as a, at a poetry slam? Hands up. Uh, who hasn't been at a poetry slam yet? Oh, that's a bit less. But, uh, those that haven't been here, that's great too. It's a fantastic experience, as you will see. And to have that, the fact that you can witness this, you have Thorsten and Fleming from Flensburg to thank for. They wanted to bring this to the stage as a kind of mashup, an experiment. And another experiment is that we are translating this. Uh, but it's more of an experiment experimental translation experiment with language a parallel cultural event that is vaguely related to what's happening on stage here that was a quote from the interpreters there will be an english audio track i didn't say it would be a translation c3lingo.org you can see what's going on and what they make of it c3lingo.org yeah Thank you. another experiment with words and language so we have 11 slammers and i won't waste any more time and give over the stage to the first slammers that will, the first two will give you a cool show applause please yeah great thank you hi hi Hello, Leipzig. Hello, Leipzig. It's an honor to be here. And uh, we did ask in the beginning who of you has been in a slam. That's sad because the stream didn't quite see it. So how about applause? Who of you has been in a poetry slam? Right. That is quite good. And now those that haven't. You will have fun, I can tell you. Don't worry. Uh, I'm very surprised. You are more than 10 at least. And more I didn't really wish for in this slam. We have 11 wonderful poets that we collected from workshops. Some have notified us ahead and I can't wait to hear what these people have to tell us. Uh, but first, about the slam, I can hardly imagine, but we wanted to have a serious talk, submit a serious talk, and um, then there was a five minute, <laughs> we had five minutes until the deadline, and in a crazy idea, I said, well, before you started with all this case, I did a lot of slamming, and that's why we are now here, and I didn't really expect this nonsense to be accepted, but hey, hey, um, for all of those that haven't been in a slam for a long time, all those that have never been in one, I would like to explain the rules, and then I'll quickly free the stage, because you haven't come here for me, but for those great people that we have put in the first row here. A poetry slam is a poets competition where they bring the self-written texts onto the stage and that means you can't put Goethe and Schiller on the stage unless Goethe and Schiller themselves will take part but we don't expect them to do that again we don't these people will come onto the stage they'll have six minutes of time strict limits which may be a bit fuzzy in the end but uh, I will then be starting to jump and dance wildly behind these people and get them out from the stage and uh, I would like to claim that they will survive that the poets cannot use any props they cannot use any costumes so if any of these will be coming on as the Pope I want this to be the Pope and again we don't expect that today and the competition now how is that decided upon and that's where you come in yeah that's one of these things about getting involved uh, my wonderful assistant Fleming has these wonderful scorecards in his hand because after the slam the text will be rated on a scale from 1 to 10 how that will be distributed I will tell you later on but first of all we have to get rid of these scorecards and once you, we've collected those scores, we, in a highly mathematical procedure, will calculate this. We have seven votes from the audience, and the highest and the lowest will be uh, discarded, and then it will be added up, and that will decide who will continue in the, in, in the room. We have the two rounds, and the two slammers that received the highest score in the earlier rounds will enter the final, and that will get you four people in the final, and your applause, all of you, will then decide 
who will be the first chaos communication poetry slam master or whatever you whatever you want to call this title and normally in a poetry slam the thing is that you have this nice flip chart at the side and someone with a marker pen will be uh, and the calculator and we'll, he'll, or they will miscalculate but we don't want this we put many programmers to these flip task charts the flip chart task and a long time several minutes almost we arrived at a solution which we want to introduce you it's a miracle of technology and it's excel excel with two sheets i can't can hardly believe it myself I did want to make the background black, and uh, but I have no idea about Excel, and uh, I'm, an, a com I'm a computer scientist. This is a thing with macros and such. Right. It would be nice to have a bit of a, uh, an audience slide, because we want to find about the people that want to do the rating. This is not the Ingeborg Bachmann Award for high quality poetry. You just have to arrive at some kind of rating. So talk with your neighbors. Maybe you want to do it as a pair. Small teams are possible. Fleming will go around. And if you would like to be a juror, then raise your hand. Fleming, pick some of these, some that look competent. There are a few hands missing on the right. Good looking in the center. Should we motivate you? Because we have brought something nice. We have these top no-name gummy bears and no-name cookies with chocolate in them. And we won't just throw them at you in a carnival style. No, the jurors will get extra candy. In, in. Now, I'll throw this into the audience. The person that catches this will be number one in the jury. This will be a bit boring for the stream. Right, I'll pass this on. Oh, the microphone is having feedback. Some people are yelling in the back there. <coughs> So. Oh, well. We won't let you rate the translations, by the way. Uh, if I keep think throwing things, I'll surely get in trouble with security. They won't even catch it. They don't want that st stupid chocolate. Uh, we have two people standing. I can't go too far away either because I won't see it from the stage. Fleming, where are you actually? Here. So. Auf der rechten Seite fehlen noch welche. There are some missing on the right. Give some to your neighbors. This is not the last time I'll be doing this. Okay, I have two left. We have people waving still. How many scorecards did I give you? There's one left. And the back will get one as well. You'll have to see these. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks a lot to the C3 woodcutters that uh, gave us these papers. It's not easy to gather 60 papers in Congress. Okay, an applause to Fleming and to the jury members. So. You will see that you have a scored card with a number from 1 to 10. Now, take care how, which way round you will hold this, these to distinguish the 6 from the 9. And uh, to let everyone see this, please all hold up the number 7. Where are you? I see one 7, I see a second one, a third, a fourth, a sixth one. Where's the seventh 7? Ah, okay. ah, there it is. Yeah, it took us a while. Great. That's where they're now complete. Now, what then are these ominous points that you award? And of course, you'll have, we'll have to align you then. You can be, uh, look, you can, we have this poet that really wants to be first, because there is this rule that if you go on first, you'll never win, because you haven't really heated up yet, you haven't, you didn't know the way it goes. But we will try this, and first I would like to hear from you a five-point applause that is average, that is 
solid text, not too many grammatical errors. You can listen. That's fun. How does that sound in Leipzig? Okay, okay, okay. All right. That's all. That's good. And now five points. I don't think we'll go below five. That rarely ever happens, it, unless someone falls, drops dead on stage, and lies there for, for the whole six minutes. Never happened to me yet, fortunately. Um, but just to test it, I would like to hear from you. We would like an one-point applause. A one-point applause that uh, well, the slammer went onto the stage, dropped early on, couldn't really keep for excitement, offended your mother, interrupted, went off the stage, uh, made three excuses, but it wasn't a coherent thing at all, and uh, perhaps he completely missed the target and reads verses from some Social Democrat manifesto or whatever. So how does, with coughing please, how does a, a very, very low one-point applause sound? One point. Uh, one thing I need to tell you, you did something wrong, sorry. sorry. You are not as experienced perhaps as an audience, but there is one rule as an audience and that is respect the poet. There is no booing, no hissing, we want to be nice, even if the poet offends your mother. Just stand above that, or even if you meet the guy at the bar later, leave them alone, they really dead. So again, the one-point applause with uh, perhaps some throat clearing, but with respect. So zerstört man Seelen. That's how you destroy souls, kids. So, aber jetzt wollen wir uns reinsteigen und liebe Seelen, so, now we'll ease into it and the poets, the first one or two should get ready next to the stage because it will be your turn soon, I'll tell you. It's very cool and because of that I'd like to hear from you. We'll get warmed up a bit so that we can Welcome our first slammer in appropriate ways. So, Leipzig, how does a five-point applause sound again? Okay, and then we'll make, turn that into six, seven points, eight points, nine points. Stop. Ooh, that's got an echo here. And now we want to know, very important, we want to find out what does this ten-point applause sound like? Ten points, this is a poet that is so great. Not yet. Hang on. I have to know what it, you have to know what a ten-point poet is. A ten-point text is a poet that you, that you want to take with you. You'll take him home with you and lead him, put him in the cupboard, and whenever you want for to have some entertainment, you open that door. You you fall in love with that text. You can't hold yourself with laughter, and uh, it touches you in very deep places that no other text has touched before. Not just there, but here as well. Rio Reiser, the singer said, open your hearts and heart your openings. That's not really easy to translate. And there you see what the problem is. And um, a 10 point applause. You're just take, putting me off, Fleming, but that's your role. You can't, can't believe it. You couldn't have imagined that the evening would be so good. And perhaps you just said because you're nice. But prepare yourself. Leipzig. What does a 10 point applause sound like? Welcome on the stage, Smori. Come on. Keep it. Keep it. Hi. Hi. Also, ich bin Swally. I am Swally, and you are many. Um, ich habe mich freiwillig gemeldet. I volunteered to be first because my text is called "Hopefully Not the Last." Hopefully, not, Hopefully the last not the last was my minimal aim when for the first time I took part in a poetry Good. slam. Right. Now I stand here with this text and everyone can imagine target missed. What, no, what not everyone can imagine is the one after and the one time after. Actually, always, I continued with the aim of finally not being last. And on the 30th of March, 2017, it was time. Finally, I was not the last, but the one before.
last. Auf dem letzten Platz wurde eine On last position, a very unhappy colleague who had the disadvantage of coming in first, although she was, it was her first time in Islam. Her story was clearly underrated, which often happens when you have to be on first. It was my favorite text of the evening that came last, and I was the penultimate one before that. It was rarely that I was had so little joy in reaching an aim, so why do I continue? I can't find an answer to the question, because it's the wrong question, the real question question is, why do I do this at all? And the answer is not related to the slamming itself, but also the many other activities I do in my spare time. So since 2012, I'm taking guitar lessons. I write for antiquated computer hardware, software that tries to connect pro uh, programming and art. But back to the answers, it's because it's fun, because I can, and because I can. Yes, twice, because because I can has two meanings. First, it means because conditions allow for it. I don't have the problem not to have enough to, for a living, and I don't have to fear for my life either, something I make myself aware of far too rarely. Because I can also means because I can manage to get the ideas from my head onto paper or into a computer. and. There is where the fun comes into play. It's an extremely great feeling to create something from nothing. Many artists have something concrete which they give a new shape to. Uh, sculptures with stone or clay, uh, paints for paintings, but I have a nothing and all I have to fight this nothing are my ideas. Ideas that mostly reflect an inspiration. Often it's an attempt to find the limits. And this time it was the bitter fulfillment of a wish not to be last. But this victory over the nothing is sweet. So sweet because there is no loser, no one last behind me, only the thing I reached in front of me. And one reason I forgot, adrenaline. To stand here and give you my thoughts is a combination of having fun and a mass massive adrenaline rush. In my case, it's more fun and more adrenaline than a roller coaster ride. And this roller coaster I'm not riding alone, but with great colleagues. I love to be backstage with the others. When we all get more and more excited, gradually one less than or more than the other, and everything is about to happen. The text is new, I don't really know it much yet. Now, that, that was a quote for myself. You could say that we are a big, happy slammer family. Well, seriously, that's bullshit. Family means that there are people there that you have to endure. And that's definitely not the case with these colleagues with which I can stay, share the stage. And that's why I want to ask a favor from you. And now uh, that is the place where I had a real problem with the text because I realized I can't read this request from the sheet. I have to tell it to you. These, there are many people here that are here for the first time. Give them a huge applause. These are great people. Give it a huge applause. Come on. Give it your best. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, I'd like to try to explain this all backwards. I have printed a T-shirt. I have people print. I have had a T-shirt printed that says, "You are a great audience," and that came from an idea that I can be a child again. Everything it takes is a stage, a stage where something is happening. The child in me has fun, is astonished, and likes to watch because the person up on the stage there is also having fun. How nice it would be to cause this in someone else if I would be on the stage. Should I manage that, then I would have reached my maximum target. Who then would need a ranking? So I conclude my reasoning about why you do something like this. We want the entertainment for you and the fun for us. Thank you. Yeah. One more. Somebody who is, is of the opinion that I can't slam hasn't listened to me playing the guitar. Thank you very much, Swally. To be first, 
it's really no no, no nice job. So everybody go into you deeply. Think about what does it mean to you, and f to ensure that it's fair and that nobody cheats. Uh, you will raise your cards on three. Three, starting at three, or going down to three. We go down from three. We count down from three, and you raise your your, your cards. Three, one. Uh, you should have counted together with me. All right, Fleming, we have got a seven, a seven, a six, a six, a another six, a five, and another six. Sorry? Six? Yeah. Uh, we have a total point count of 31. We move the five and one of the sevens. All an applause for Swally. That was a great, you did a great job. Uh, and it's, we, you might think we are an organized, uh, we are a great organization. Uh, but uh, we are not. I've missed my phone, so I didn't know how long he talked. Do you remember how the, about the 10 point applause? Um, we have to try that. Hifa? Oh, I think he sent the first time on the workshop. Wasn't that right? A beginner? Yes, no, yes. Where is he? C come to the stage. Ha did we lose Hifa? That is bad. Hefa! An announcement from the st stage. You missed your chance to go to STEM, and that's when I asked everybody before. Applause for Hefa! The first slammer I know who missed his, uh, his appearance on stage. <laughs> Ten points to that from the first row, uh, from the third row. <laughs> so, Simon, are you done? Uh, because you just gained a new starting position. <laughs> and with that, great. Hey, everybody. That's too chaotic for me. So, welcome with a 10 point applause, Simon. Hello. Here we are. This is not my first Congress. This is my third Congress, actually. But in many circumstances, it's my first time. It's my first time in Leipzig. It's the first time on the stage with more than 100 people. And it's the first time in Poetry Slam. And that's why I invite you to a small travel with me, how I looked on the Congress, how I... Trap, trap, trap. Ooh, fast roller, blink, lights, blinking, full, uh, ticket, wristband. Hey, it's sparkly. Itch, itch. Walk, walk. So large. But that was day zero. Day one. Shower. Eat, shrubby, trap, trap, trap. Walk, 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 ring, miss the train, just stops in the back. Wait, wait, wait. Itch, itch, damn wristband, uh, wrist but it's sparkly. Ba train, try, stand, sway, stand, walk. There, begin of day one. Walk, walk, wristband check, steps. Oh no, why? Why? Why don't I have wheels? Ah. Walk, walk, walk. Dampfkäfer. Trap, trap, trap. Blödgeruch. Walk. Smells of soldering. Walk, walk. Uh, not. Walk, walk. Indoor forest. More lights. G uh, boxes. Ring, ring. Talk, walk, walk. Mist of train. Angel shift. A jacket, a smile. A jacket, a smile. A jacket, a jacket, a smile. Jacket, 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 jacket,
trousers, the the suitcase, end of itch itch, washing your hands, itch itch, go to bed, itch itch. Tag two. Day two. Itch itch. Um, walk. Itch. Walk walk. Google. Foot spare parts. Itch. Half a dose. Turning the uh, uh, wristband on left. Chaos West. Stays. Waffles. Chaos Post. Two million steps to zero. Chaos Post. Hermes Servants. Angels. GIF or GIF. Spaces. Adam Spark. Clark. Dyke Drive. Soon finished. Continue. Walk. Walk. Five. Rooms this year, angel meeting, saying thank you, buying food, drinking water, walking here and there in colorful lights, meeting and so much walking, too much walking. Food, smiling, continuing, new power, walk, nah, chill, chill, and a chunk. Tag three. Day three. Schlaf, schlaf, sleep, schlaf. sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sound of the ear. The train starts. It's noon. Yawning. Preparing slam. Writing a text. Shower. Itching. No high speed roll. Walk, walk. What are feet? Walk, walk. To heaven. Getting water. Uh, coffee. Drinking water. Time for talks. Ah, I talk too much. Whatever. Dark outside. Slam gets closer. S sweating. Walking to the stage of Adam's hand, mic, and here we are. TLDR. Too long, don't read. Glass ceiling, bright, glass ceiling, <laughs> dark ceiling, glass ceiling, bright, glass ceiling, itch. Good next year. What a first talk in this scene. Rest, good job. But um, now where I see you again, uh, what I read in Twitter, aren't you that guy who wrote that comic where it goes through the, uh, where the wristband um, uh, chafes. chafes through your wrist? But he's not that guy. So everybody should have thought about it. You have a large connection to that context. People up front here are discussing. Do we have to motivate you? Okay, come on, work faster. You are not here to have fun. Okay, another time, because I'm not a, the, the monkey. I say three and they raise their cards. Two, one, go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have a nine, another nine, another nine, an eight. Nine and a seven and a six. Left corner stays. Last two. Keep it up. Keep it up. Do you see seven and six? Respect. Great job. Four to two points. That's something you have to get. Nothing you have to reach. That is the crowd mind, the hive mind, the answer of everything. You're a really good team. Okay, continue. Our next person is at the stage, and you at the stair have a very good privilege because our first scanner is incognito, and the live stream will just show our nice slide. This nice slide and graphics and uh, really secret applause for our slammer, TVL. Lauda! One 
Good morning, Leipzig. Uh, in contrast, I will be able to be here with 10 gigahertz because it's the first time for me on stage, and I hope you'll like it. My slam is called Contrasts and Unlike Things. Attention, the author tells you that the following text may contain traces of sarcasm. Risks and side effects can be found in the wiki or through a phone call via DECT. Part of this text was censored because they could uh, this discourage listeners. Every year I look forward to Congress starting. I know that the atmosphere will be right. I could hardly wait and I'll be happy despite of the stupid timetables. The reservation system was great and out of order. The carriages were full. No video recorders, though. Stupid drive, even in German. Uh, despite all these days, I ask myself, how will we manage to reach the people outside? Everything is having a good time and having fun, even if the food isn't so great. Looking at the world outside, I too often think I have lost my way. Almost everyone here is open-minded, and hardly anyone is going to be. Über diese verliere ich ein paar Sätze. Ich trage hier vor find aggression. Despite all the contrasts, I'll drop a few sentences. I don't want to raise any flags here. I am not one of the brown people, but I will still allow myself the following words. The double standards are all-encompassing. Everywhere you see that every, all creatures are welcome, but everyone's hating Nazis and everyone thinks they're well-minded. You should be allowed to say that. The pixel flood is an example. Since all the, despite all these rules, someone is sending a hat to prevent this and bury this. There's just one system. I will rhyme myself into a rage. Okay. Okay. Anmerkung der Redaktion. Jetzt geht's ohne Politik weiter. The editor's remark will not, will leave politics out from now on. Now, why is the top of that? The one mineral water red and the other green. Shouldn't it be the other around? The one called nature should be green. And why is classic stronger than medium? Because in a classical sense, water isn't fizzy at all. Who knows? In that sense, be extend to each other and build more wa waffles of mass destruction. To quote Martin Sonnebaum's tax over these are all crazy people, but they're staying inside. I don't want to try you all with the same brush, but you're fantastic. Thanks for your tolerance. Thanks to Niklas Lukas and Sören Kiran for the help. Thank you, TWL. I haven't experienced something like this. Audience involvement is normal. I, I say one word and the other says the other, but honestly, who was it that shouted in? You three, right. You will be given a chunk or something later on. It stays exciting. The first figures are gathering on the board and the jurors. You, you look so ready. Okay, you seem to be ready. Let's count down. Three, two, one. Cards up. Some are missing, right? What is this? Wasn't there one over there? There we have it. A five, a five, a five, a five, a six, and a five, and again from that, from over there, a six. You are sticking to your standards. Keep them up, please. Five, five, six. A six. One's missing. Oh, in the back there. There's a five missing. I probably forgot a five. Okay, that gives us 26 points for TWL. Uh, cordial applause. 
gerade diese unerfahrenen Menschen in Applaus. Uh, bathe these unexperienced people in applause. If you're having a good time, then they'll have a great time. Right, is our next participant ready? He is standing next to the stage. You are not going to tell me that another one has escaped, do you? Okay. Okay. And a huge applause for Smick. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Um, I. Yes. That's also my first poetry slam. There are quite a few people out there. Oh, well. I'll just start. The text is Child is Capitalism. I, I am a child of capitalism. I have to buy and have and keep and it is my and, and my being is between the buying and the can I don't want to think quiet and no nice. It's a, many large c c uh, corporations uh, move my being. I am allowed to do so because I'm a proper... Um, I'm just a cog in the wheel. And marriage is only a question of love and not because of tax benefits. What is happening? Everything is fine. Where is your... Why are you so angry? And because you only think about exploitation. It just happened. I, as a child of capitalism, learned that way. I'm too stupid to understand that I move my environment to have continue to have coal. And I want. And when I'm swimming, I just f don't find fish, and a way uh, that is dying of uh, plastics. I don't care. My consumption is not important. It is not part of that. I just remove my frustration into stuff that I don't need. It's okay to buy something new and instead of walking to buy a VW car, a Volkswagen car. We children of the capitalism, we don't have to hide because of our consum uh, it's p only part that we die of the consum. And from the day I was born, I was supposed to be happy. Everything is not okay. And everything and all the money I gained, is it would be sad if it just be removed because its existence would not keep me alive. The only thing we notice, if at all, if there are fewer things or the pr rising price. But we still continue to buy and remove our... Uh, uh, thoughts in a small uh, thought of happiness, a cloth or a computer game, everything of that I change for money or time so that at the end neither is available in great numbers. We are too locked in into our system. Everything that counts is uh, the work and the money. When we in the money, we continue to die. And in the end, I only have too little time and money. But now I just live in front of myself and work and consume, and everything is fine for me. I eat the animals and my pan uh, planet because I'm a child of capitalism. Thank you. Thank you. Smick was the slammer who just left the stage. We are not allowed to say so, uh, I'm told. But slam is like the club. It's also political. Oh. Oh. Problematic expression is something that, he didn't say that. Okay, Juris. How do you feel about capitalism? Maybe you also want to look at the text itself if you did not applaud with us. Uh, you appear to be ready. I'll look into the two person up front here. Uh, the, if they are ready, I'm assuming the others are as well because I don't wear the glasses without a reason. I don't have an idea out there. Okay, and then we will count down. Are you excited? Three, two, one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We get to higher areas. We have a nine and a nine. 
and an eight, and another eight, and another eight, and seven, and that is a great applause, worth a great applause from yourself, from all of you, a first ten of the evening. The man did not stick to his six, and that's good. You can break out of your normal measures. Uh, Fleming calculates it, and with that we have 42 points! We don't know, but the people talk with each other on IRC in the back end, but I don't want a 23 next. That would not be... would, would not be appropriate. So the next slammer is preparing, and we brought somebody. We are a small cluster of people in our hacker space who slammed earlier, and one of our old slam crew, the Rini, welcome him on the stage. Slamigans is the name of slam hooligans because. The poetry slam is well known that because it, we broke the st uh, stage a few times during applause. And just to have you keep up with the 10 point applause, go for a <laughs> Rene, a 10 point applause for him. Moin, ich muss das mal ein bisschen größer machen. Hi. I have to scale this up a bit. Das ist jedes Mal die Stelle, That's always the part where I think I look completely stupid and with, um, with my paper between my legs and stuff. Yeah, I know this. So, as Sopen said, I'm from Flensburg in the far north. Uh, I have been on the stage at Kuhl House there. Uh, it has been a while ago, though, and in Kuhl House you have about, well, the red how the right half of chairs would fit in there that will fill that space up it's always very loud though and as we said the stage will be kicked apart because the people that do the grating the torpens job will always say stamp on the floor that is allowed people will like that and it works better there because the floor is louder there and there there's an echo great now i brought the text that's called student experiences and it comes from the time when I started studies and uh, that is uh, four, and half, four and a half years ago and I have, still haven't finished my bachelor's thesis but le let's leave that aside yeah sometime this year I don't know, I've said it at a big stage I have to do it I have to hand in my thesis let's see okay what sorry you won't make it yeah, yeah, sure. I won't make it. That was what said. Uh, right. So, before I start, what I have to say, why do I actually study? Well, if uh, you pass the school exam and uh, you don't quite know what you want to do, well, you then have to do something, so you go studying. And what do I study? Well, if I look at Congress, the people here and what is being done, computer science, of course, is very close, and that's what it is. And uh, you have to say that, uh, consider that this it was intended for people that do not know what a console is. I assume that most of you know this, but I left that part in anyway. I'll change it around a bit, you'll notice. Whatever. The first event of today, structured programming. My neighbors and I intently do not stare towards the front, but just like in front, stare onto my screen. Because the first thing we do today, where finally we have a wholly access data to the air room, is a complete network analysis with everything that's that comes with it. What else could it be? The people next to us and behind us look at us strangely if I op as I open my console and start running a few programs. For all those that see the recording and ask themselves at some point, what the hell is a console? That's the small black window that you open if you've fallen asleep at the keyboard and that looks like as if the computer has been broken. Now, the lecture begins. And our first joy about the fantastic speed of the internet connection, we have to limit and enjoy in a bit more silence. That's hard for us because we're all from the village and we 
when we serve at home and certain 250k nostalgia arises. Now, the, the lecture starts with a course the introduction into the world of programming languages. Not too tough because there is no pre, pre requirements for the course. Soon after, we look at the screen and are astonished to find that the network does seem to have a few restrictions and are now in the process of overcoming those. Now, the lecturer starts talking about the fact that all tasks, examples, and solutions will be in the Java programming languages. My nerds and I just moan. While in the row behind us, people whisper, hey, what is this Java anyway? And from the mouth of another clueless uh, co-student, you can hear, oh, it's an island in Indonesia. You've selected the wrong study, I think. And I noticed that I may have been a bit too loud as I see the face of the people behind me. Now, that lecture is over soon and we go over two buildings to the maths lecture. Ooh, maths, you may think, but the appropriate term would be, well, perhaps continue taxi driving. Our lecturer, an Asian-influenced man, is in front of us and without any introduction or in, of himself or the topics, talks of very complicated names and even more complicated symbols and looks at us with, an, uh, with a face of disinterest and boredom. And later, a colleague from a higher semester tells us that the lecturer can write with two hands uh, on, this, on, the, on the blackboard if time is tough and it's good uh, lecture, if a quiet lecture if he only wipes the blackboard eight times. So that was my first day as a student, but that wasn't it because as I got home, homework starts. First of all, write a small program that uh, outputs my own name and my student's number. And as a few hours get past while installing kits, we are in, in the country again. The first task is done, which on the next Monday, the people behind us will spend 90 minutes biting into, and I go to sleep with the reassuring thought that I have selected the right study. Thank you. So, thank you, René. And I think this half-finished computer science studies is something that many of you know. I will be celebrating my 10th semester, not consecutive, not do I have anyone that's been, that has studied longer? Uh, shout out the number. 20 semesters? 21. Well, sure, 21. That's not in the bachelor study, though, was it? Oh, that was the diploma study before the Bologna reforms. I did want to become a diploma engineer, but let's move away from all that. Our jurors are looking a bit stressed, so the last scoring of the first round. We will call it countdown. Three, two, one, and cards up. We have a six, a six, a four, an eight. A six and another six over there. Wonderful. Keep the cards up. Fleming is still typing it in. Our mathematical magic, all that computer science thing is now going to work under the hood and we'll have a result. And I would like to prepare the people mentally because you then will be able to read a second text. So we have, well, surely it couldn't have been any better. We have in the final. Simon Snick with 42 points each. Respect. Before you run away, I'll ask, do you have a second text? Great. And over there, I did hear a yes to deny. Yes, do you? Oh, okay, great. We'll manage it. Great. First round over. Take a breath. It's going well, isn't it? Have some chocolate. There's not such a lot of energy there. I'm throwing, I'm throwing chocolate into the audience. Yeah. Towards the slammers, you'll need it. And over there, great, wonderful. 
Yeah, we do actually have a little intermission program prepared for you. We'll come to that later on. Uh, one of our slammers said, come on, a bit of an audience interaction is something we need. And he has a one minute piece. So don't worry, this is not it, part of the rating, but it's nice here, Leipzig. These are at least 1,000 people, and you have you are having a good time. I want to hear, I want to hear the applause because I have the feeling that you're losing energy. Uh, people they're hogging the benches in the back, don't like culture, but you are stable. You're staying. So, let's welcome for the second time this evening a slammer with a little intermission program. So, just for you to warm up. What did the, did the five points sound like? You have to replace the people that are leaving. They heard about chunk and six points applause, seven points, eight points, nine points, and a ten point applause for Smolly. So. Right. Just about the background, we in Hannover have a small reading stage for people who just have fun and want to read the text without uh, uh, all the organization around it. And we had a really good German master slammer as a guest reader with us, and we had three guests. And I had this great text. It was so short. We need interaction with our customers and with three people that just doesn't work. So I wanted to do that with the proper uh, uh, people around me. Cultural circles. We came from lunch and we were with three people. My others, now former colleagues, have something together that couldn't be more different. They were migrations. Mazin as a Wall, uh, traveled here as a child. He likes to play with cliches about his view. He sells food. If, if, uh, he sells food as falafisten. Xin came just came from the to study from China, and we talked about different cultural areas. And I had a thesis. I just wanted to check. With just a single question, I can show you that Marcin and I have the same Western cultural reference, Ying, however not. She didn't want to believe it and had to, to show it. I was, going to be, I was going to be right. You would like to know what this question, this one difficult question might be. But before I ask it, if you know the answer, this is to just call it in without knowing. We have just three single question. Mana, mana. Thank you. Ah. Thank you for the earworm, Swally. Thank you for the earworm, Swally. We have to be quicker a bit. We thought we have no participants at all, and we'll have the room for one and a half hours, and angels want to go to bed. So I would like to tell the next slammer to get to the stage very quickly. He has a name in our program that you can make a welcome out of, and that's why I don't want to say much other than a 10-point applause to Hello Fabian. Keep it, keep it up until he's reached the microphone. Hi, Hi I'm Fabian. That's what it says here too. And I thought it quite exciting that those before me had this cool move because when they fin finished a page, they just threw it down that I found great, and then I thought, fuck, I cannot do this, because I <laughs> wrote onto the back side as well. That's a beginner's mistake, surely. Um, I brought a text that says, uh, that's called Days Like These. Give me more of this, of days like these, where the world for a time is in order, that you don't want to get to be finished because everything's great and everything else doesn't matter. Days where there's pizza in the morning and where you get to sleep in the evenings without food and where the people around you are friends, where dream and reality are the same, where you believe that everything makes sense suddenly and everything's fantastic. No, just right, almost perfect, without almost. Give me less of the hours 
where you will wait for the bus outside while it's raining and the snow has long turned to brown sleet. Hours where you wait for something to happen, just to have a different experience than before, where you are at home and it's cold because the room isn't warm, although the heating is turned up, although perhaps you miss another kind of warmth. Give me more like from, of minutes like these where you feel free and no one, especially not you, expects something from you where you think that everything is okay, it's it's working out, where shortly it doesn't matter where, whether the carrot cake of mother is vegan. Minutes where you think you're understood, where you feel understood and don't expect, don't ask, it's particularly not yourself. More of these where you think that everything is possible and it's the start of something new. Give me less of the seconds where you again realized that you wanted to study something else, should have studied something else because it would have fitted you better and you start doubting your work because someone yesterday said something actually quite irrelevant or you don't understand how you could have lived in village X for so long. Seconds where you realize you are somehow not part of it. That, where you, that you don't belong, but the days, hours, minutes and seconds that are exactly like now, these are good, actually perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Fabian. Yeah, the thing with the sheets, that is quite nice. It has a dramatic air to it, throwing them down. But I've seen all kinds of things that have people have been reading from laptops, smartphones, backsides. Don't worry, it all works out. So, dear jurors, we are a bit pressed for time. I have to rush you, decide quicker, and it has to be from the gut. So, count it down. Hold the cards up in three, two, one, and up. And keep them up. We have a seven, a six, a seven, a seven, a five, a seven. Please keep them up. And then we'll get to 34 points. An applause. So now that you are a person from Flensburg is well known there and we brought another one for the next round from, without talking about it too long. A, a great applause for Pia. Okay, I did not stand for the mic like this and I've got goosebumps. I'm so happy to be here. I brought something with you that has nothing to do with the chaos, and uh, I hope you're fine with that. If not, I, I don't care either. Silence. It is so strangely silent in the heart at home. I sometimes ask myself how it would be if a ghost would walk through the f f floors. And I think that it would be exactly like this. It's a ghost with a mask of happiness and okayness with everybody wants to become happy, but nobody can. That's when it gets so strangely quiet in the house because everybody wants to understand what just so few time ago took everybody from the normal uh, way of life. I cannot find any words. What happened so long ago it hit me like a steamroller and removes his... Uh, I want to go into your b body and move through the veins and destroy the cells that are part of your bodies and not of the one of Trump or Erdogan. But I can't do anything. I don't have the power to. I move through the world without noticing everything. I'm blind and can't hear, don't notice anything that is important for me otherwise, but now that disappears from my brain and that's what I'm ha happy that for every second I don't have to think about it. I love the people who 
try to help me, who ask me how everything is and make me laugh a minute later. And I want to say thank you because every word you say gives me new power and helps me to forget the silence for an hour, for a minute. But when the silence return, I can't take my thoughts into order. It could be worse. It looks good. It worked so often and if everything we are lucky and everything turns out better than we thought but at the same uh, with the same breath I, I see that this good chance is just not likely and if we have a bad luck if we lose it. It's a dark frightening thing. I could not imagine. It's it stops you. It makes and that's even because uh, because I can't feel. I'm just standing next to it and can only wait and hope that everything turns out right. And the waiting, and through the waiting, it gets quiet. It gets quiet. It gets quiet. Dann then I see you. And you talk with so such a carriage. Or is it ambivalence? I don't know. I'm listening to you talking and try to ask how you really look. Because I believe that you can't show me everything because I'm your small girl. Or maybe it really looks like that inside of you because you can just accept it better than I. But still I ask myself, for whom is the cancer worse? Shit! I want to have the power to take your hand and be and help you. Just one time I want to say that I do everything, that we can work together, that everything will turn out well. And if not that well, we can manage. We don't care. It looks quite well. Everybody is worth it. And we walk this path and... And, and really I noticed that I talk too much because I only want to say you, I love you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that, Pierre. I've just noticed that you're a really great slam audience because in the silent moments, the only thing you hear is the <coughs> airing and the papers falling. That is immense. So I'll have to rush you though because we won't have time all day. Dieter is think about what this does with you because I will count you down to three, two, one, and hold up the cards. We have ratings, okay. An eight, a nine, a nine, a seven, a six. And please a huge applause. Two tens. Please give the cards up. We'll delete the highest and lows, lowest cards, and it gives us 44 points. Right. Our next slammer should have no stage fight at all because he told me that funny anecdote that when the people here get a bit excited, then we should just call him because I didn't know that this exists. He is the official stage fright responsible person, and that is worth an applause. Thank you. Have fun with the text by Yusef. Hi. Cardamom and Cardamom. And Auf dem Weg nach Leipzig. on the way to Leipzig, I see a train, a high speed train. I want to sit into the direction of travel. Oh shit, I think this, this will be fun. And he says, well, then just sit that way. But I don't know which way the train will go. I'm not saying anything. So sit down there and then change. Pragmatic, I think. We can sit in front of each other, uh, opposite to each other. What a romantic idea to be next to each other a whole life. I imagine how these two in the old people's home are rethinking love. 
I need a plug, a socket. Why do you need a socket? For electricity. Electricity? My handy is discharged. Who do I need to make a call with? We're going to go soon. Well, isn't it allowed to make a call in a moving train? This is the quiet carriage. But I'm supposed to tell your sister when we leave. Hans puts a smartphone on, on the table, type magnesium brick. But I'm impressed. I only know the way my father uh, deals with these things. My father tells, replies to spammers telling them he doesn't need Viagra. If he had to send this via post, he would just go run out of stamps. And because my father kept catching viruses, I installed Linux Mint and told him this was the upgrade to Windows 11. True story. But not Hans. I like him from the start. Like a ninja, he wipes, swipes the login screen. There he goes. Where's the socket? There is no, there are sockets in the train. This man has his computer in his, in his socket too. <clears throat> I have no time, sorry. I'm pointing towards to the place under the armrest. Be excellent to each other, I think. You have lovely stickers. He won't be disturbing you. Actually, I don't like stickers a minute, but, but everyone does this. If you don't have stickers, you risk to not be let in despite having a ticket. They believe you are from the secret services. I'm not into that. I don't want that this time, but because everyone knows those from the Secret Services do have stickers. And Zuse Linux. By Zuse Linux, for example. I am not disturbing anyone. Where is that cable? Whether he disturbs or not is not for him to decide. I have learned from Fefe. My father was once tricked into joining a right-wing group on Facebook, and since then he's always had nonsense in his foot, a classic case of filter bubble inflammation. And uh, I, <laughs> I said Fefe as a start page for him, telling him that it will be speaking online light. Be careful, look after the spices as you plug in. Please look. At, please think of the spices. Oh, oh! I think my gut feeling tells me that this will go on for a while. Somehow, I'm excited. By the way, I use Arch Linux. Hi. What are you looking for? The spices are at the very top. I want that cable. Leave me alone with the spices. Oh, come on, then. Ah, here it is. <laughs> In a tin with cheese spices. Funny. Why are spices funny? At Congress, as you know, for every assembly you can imagine exists, but I haven't seen the cheese spices assembly yet. Why do you put my cable into a tin? Because it won't fold. Then you can leave it at home anyway. It, what is funny about the spices? Cheese spice. There is a spice, cheese spice. This is from Alphonse from TV. Your sister doesn't even like cheese. Well, maybe she'll like it with the spice. She hates cheese. That is your sister. Why do I have to tell you this? It is, she hates cheese. But Alphonse said, everyone likes cheese with this. All right. Then I'll buy you from Malaysia, Alphonse monkey brain soup spice. I did pack my bag and... <laughs> You wanted to. <laughs> this is the quiet carriage. I needed space for your cable. The train is leaving. She is moving backwards and she is st standing up. Forget it. Shh, quiet carriage. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yusef. Love is in the air, I tell you. So, 
we use the thought pause for the heroes to change the microphones. That means that we have far too long and this, and we have to k k fasten up, quicken a bit. Are you finished? Yes, the six person guys will. That's countdown three. Go yeah. Raise your hands. Oh, 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 I don't know where to start. We have an eight, a nine, another nine, another nine, and then a quick applause. Three tenths. Great job. With, uh, when you write it that well, I'm afraid that I do a good job of that. 47 points, that's a good uh, res respect, that's a good number. The next slammer has the same name as somebody else of our first round and is also not completely uh, in tears from Schleswig Holstein and came to our new cluster and said hey you are doing a slam and I was on a st there a stage before us and I just decided him and so great great applause for Fabi please <laughs> huh. yeah uh, how can we continue on from that the text is neither funny nor six minutes long, but um, has something to do with the funny word and. It's called and the candle. I see the undestroy, uh, uh, the candles burning in uh, lamps. The world outside is a dark storm and everybody walking through it has to carry his own light. Along myself, Hundreds, tens, ten thousands continue with the bright f torches, lighting all p p ways. You walk along with me. Your p torch is getting the if, uh, the fog is, uh, uh, and you have droplets on your face when you remove. G uh, from my v point of view, I see lights on the horizon. Some more bright, more brightly than others. Some move. Groups from hundreds uh, illuminate large parts of the field. But I'm alone, mo turn towards the, away from the wind, trying to protect my small light. It's, 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 it's the size of a tea light, and when I notice the shadows of the others, I just look at my own small light, which I try with all my power to protect it against the final... Uh, uh, it would be so easy to let the candle drop to be sure that I don't have to care about it, but what would remain? Just the uncertainty, the darkness, the unstopping wind and the emptiness, the emptiness we are afraid about. With every continuing uh, second of the storm, with every second c holding the light, I do not let go, not now. I stick to the small only light i ever knew the one i knew when it was big in those bad times where despite the circumstances it was bright and also those where it appeared to be shortly before extinguishing my hands get closer to the flame until i only feel the heat my hands take the heat and take and put the pain through all my body it, I want to let it go, I want to scream and throw it away, but the light that turns the world around me to what it is, the light that burns my hands but gives me courage to continue until everything, even, if the, even the world around myself, I don't feel anymore. But then the wind reduces, the rain reduces it to a fog, and the uh, f quivering flame in my hand calms down. The torches of the other p people on the horizon get vi become visible and I continue to walk as part of the illuminated shadow, always afraid about the next uh, rain, the next storm. How does this story end? I don't know. My light does not 
Like, it's bright enough to show me the way. The future is as foggy as the past. Only thing I can see is the now. Everything I see is the now. It's the rain, it's the wind, and my light, the only light I ever knew. After an end, nobody changed the sentence. And? And what? Thank you very much, Fabi. A shorter text, you get a shorter time to think about it. Okay, let's get to it. Are you ready up front here? The six point guy, what do you <laughs> what do you think? Right, yeah, you you deviate from your six points in the second round, but if nobody says no hey, three Oh, and raise your cards and keep them up. Seven, a seven, a seven, a seven, a six, a six, and a nine. Uh, did you try the six around? Or what? No, it is a nine. Sa thank you very much. Keep your cards up. And with that, we have 34 points for Fabi. A great applause for him. And soon you will have seen all slammers of the evening. We have to get rid of the prizes we have. We have to continue. So the next slammer, and I want to like to ask him on the stage. He has a nick. He he said to me, "So a great round of applause for Alex, but continue until he's up. Don't don't run away. Come up here. You you'll manage." Hello. Hello. I definitely have the shortest text, right? And it's called Pitch Plutch. <laughs> I lift my fork, fork. Call me Poseidon. I am the master of this bathtub. Shh. No one can escape me. He neither. This yellow rubber duck. See how I drown it in the bathtub. I press on the ducks. Bubbles rise. Psst. A psychopathic glance while I drown them. A baby duck screams in a choir. I drowned its parents. Why do you do this? Why are you so cruel? No space for a bigger bathtub. I didn't want to go into savings. This bathtub isn't large enough for all of us. Feelings arise that I've never felt before. Realization that I am a lonely, unloved creature. The last bubble rises. What have I done? I put the fork aside. No one must ever know this. I take the baby duck. How did it come that far? That is the end. The, the duck's end. I'm so sad. I'll let the rain fall because I see the grief. I do that by turning on the tap. And with joy, expression of joy, I will exc exclaim how painful it is. No, this will not be the end. Every duck, as far as I can, I will help out of the water. I will no longer judge a person or a creature by its rubber exterior. I will improve. I will heal the damage. I will make sure that everyone can remain happily. Refugees are behind these lines whether it's between marine borders or between mountains, whether it's in the smallest village or in skyscrapers, if it can be prevented, it's sad that people die. We should turn our attention not to rubber ducks, but to give it all and all that need help. Quack. Thank you, Alex. 
Now, this kind of applause you don't have to escape from. These are all kind people. Right. Now, pause for thought. Now, it's going to be exciting. You will decide. It's going to be a tough race. Uh, a duck race? Right. Dear jurors, I have to rush you. I have looked at the clock and this one and a half hour thing. Okay, are you ready, jurors? I can't say no. So, three, two, one. Ah, the last score of the evening. We have the eight, an eight, a nine, a six, an eight, a five, and an eight. Oh, I'll keep the cards up. Don't confuse our Excel specialists. So that gives us a score of 38. Thanks again. Applause for Alex. Right. True. So where do we start? Because now we have the final. Uh, we'll take it in reverse order, so the people that were here last will now be first on the stage. I'm very sorry to have uh, to say that to Yusuf, but then we'll have Pia, and from the first round, Fleming, can, we, can you check? First we'll have Smuk and Simon. So prepare yourselves. You can approach the stage, but first I'd like to tell you what great prizes we brought, because there are certain slam traditions and yeah we did come up with something nice for the fourth fourth place we have a bottle of peppermint schnapps and it gets better for the third place we will have a bottle of peppermint schnapps for the second place we have we can imagine a bottle of peppermint schnapps yeah and well in the the comedy area, there's this rule of three, so after that it will no longer be funny. So for the first place we have two but no, one bottle of Jägermeister. Powered by, Powered by the thirst after. So we'll continue. Are you all ready? Right. No stage fright because, again, we'll get into it. So. Clap, please. Eight point applause, please. Nine points. And ten. Ten point applause for Yusef. You have to hold it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I've got a text with me. Myself. I got inspired. You can write this in an hour because you need two. And I found a tweet or a schmort tirade between an Erdgeist and another guy. And he is called Nostalgie isn't, Nostalgia isn't what it used to be. Earlier, everything was better. We hacker used to program C. Nobody knows how to program C nowadays. Nowadays, everybody's manic. Some better. We used to work when we grope copied torrents. No, we used diskettes. You don't know them anymore. That were carryable offline clouds. Idiots. The young people were political. Like, really? Without these uh, stupidities and influenza and being famous and so on. Maybe selfies and Primark. However, being uh, 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 it's easy to work properly and have a bit of luck. And the second option, suicide, reincarnate as cat and running around in a fish costume on a, uh, a vacuum robot. Do you know that? Remember? Look at that cat, how it's interested by the laser pointer. Oh shit, I forgot to reply for the university. Oh shit. It's Arabic for I'm a racist asshole. But have we really thought about the new Heisenberg Inger idea? 
People, uh, uh, um, uh, they want to take our jobs but don't work at the same time. What can we do? Oh, I could tweet about that and being annoyed. Taking photos of his food. Uh, what a shit. I want to uh, open a restaurant where you invite yourself with uh, via social media where the food is f photographed on the... Uh, in the kitchen, uh, it, it will say that it is uh, inappropriate to start f eating before everybody has taken a photo of it. Nowadays, everybody is, thinks they are political if they click against NTAFD on Facebook. We used to be really active. We used to be on the street. We get, went demonstrating. Yeah, the others I had a rate, but. When Germany becomes a champion, I'm part of it, world champion. Unless nothing changes, no, it creates changes, you, it doesn't import with what you're angry about. I have to go out. A fra flag of France isn't enough. You can get in, in, start any time. We need more bad internet. Maybe then we changed the country into a new situation. But back then we had the real Torvald. Ah, how great it used to be back then. And what happened? Do you come with us to the demo? Uh, yeah, I just uh, which I just have to finish this. Which Disney princess are you? I will tell you, Friedrich Merz. Lord of the Rings used to be a book. Yeah, a book. Nobody knows. That's hardware. Look at the Legastinica back there nowadays. Every hero looks the same for them. Take your Kai and Lua or Deep Learning and do something usable. Uh, Navi uh, that tells people who behave the right way. But no, instead, loot boxes and advertisement. Oh, a, floor, a glass fell on the floor. Let's applaud. <laughs> Earlier we picked it up. We used to pick it up. We had our own jokes. There was no Jack Norris or Fortune or Beams. Everything was simpler, but you just sit there. Even the awareness somebody else has to do. I'll prove it to you. How do we call a bad like woman on the moon? An astronaut. What else? Uh, thank you very much, Joseph. So, and no, we don't have any more uh, another rating. So, you have to keep the text, put it in your thought fridge, uh, ensure that nothing runs out, and then we continue. Are you finished? Yeah. We have three more texts, and we want to hear them. So. Please, to the stage, 10-point applause for Pierre. Los, der Weg ist weit, ihr müsst lauter klatschen. It's a far walk, you have to applaud louder. Are you sure that you want this? Okay, your fault. Okay, I wasn't prepared for this. And uh, do we have dog people here? People that really like dogs, please show up. I'm sorry, this text is not for you. Um, the following text is a dialogue. It maybe is a bit improvised. It will be even more. It may be a bit one-sided. My communication partners, partner is sometimes a bit hard with words. Or and her voice is a bit higher. I hope I manage that because she is half deaf. Deaf, and yeah. No, it's not your time. Yeah. No, still not. Yeah. You've just had something. Your liquor. Your sweeties. I looked at the watch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, you're starving, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nope. Is she gone? Okay. Okay, what is this? Jordy? Jordy? Yeah. What is this? World domination plans? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Enslaving of humanity? Yeah. Okay. Don't you believe that this is a bit exaggerated? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think my watch is broken. I'll get the food ready. Thank you. Thank you. Do I have to worry about this waving cat there, I wonder? So, we are officially above, uh, behind time, so I'm not going to talk much more. I will now... Welcome for the second time in the final Smick. Big applause. So, um, this time I don't have any papers I can let drop to the floor. Yeah, sad now, isn't it? Most of you finished school. I have to continue to go there next year, spend some time there, and because it's so s unreal, I have already written my uh, university entrance exam uh, farewell. talk, farewell speech. farewell speech, I want to read here. The school system is a concept which I don't really get. All day we sit, uh, annoyed children sit and try to sweat thoughts of knowledge onto the paper. It, learning is an illness. In the morning you enter the building without be wanting to, and even despite learning should be something fun and interesting. It's more like uh, throwing up. I don't know how people are supposed to learn because you're supposed to learn and to work and then die. In in the school, it's all about learning and throw, breaking it out, throwing it out. Here, learning is an illness, and you don't learn to learn, but to learn how to f work properly, how not to fall down or change. If you have to learn how we have to learn, how we have to interpret until we have... Uh, I used to like school and uh, learning, and after the first week, I had to come home where I had to pre repeat everything I already knew. First, food, eat, and then throw up. It's all about learning a lot and not f breaking up with a thought. And don't ask until then if there's something more important than school. Even if then and now and then I learn something interesting, if it, even if it's not about interpretations or integrals. And the learning for life is in the foreground. Thank you very much. Now I have the feeling that it was a stupid idea to now tell the people uh, the prices and then learn that one of our participants is still at school. Shit. All right. Um, yeah, she's 18. Uh, I'll believe that and everything is fine. Uh, I think you're still ready to go. We have a last text, another text. Elia Angels, you're nearly done. And another last large applause. Keep him up until he's on the stage for Simon.
Yeah, vielen Dank. Great, thanks a lot. And I don't have papers with me either. I wasn't prepared actually to come back onto this stage. Yeah. Um, but uh, just over two years ago on Twitter, I had a project that was called 10 O'Clock Poetry. And I would just like to read a few of these tweets, all very short, because then back then we had the 140 character limit. Back then, everything was better, yeah. My left space is free. I would like to have an axe for the right one. The first half was a popular German rhyme. Starts with, I wish someone to sit down there. Uh, it's a rainy day because the kid has not finished its food or their food. Why is there a rupee? <laughs> Hey, listen. IT, IT fairy tales. Once upon a time, there was a Windows update, one percent, two percent, and if they, and they, well, they died all. So if they didn't die, it doesn't apply. You are an open book to me. Leather outside, tacky inside. For the next one, I'd like to apologize to my family who might be listening. <laughs> it was a nursery rhyme ending in fisting. Water, basis of all life, cause of death, expression of sadness, but first of all, the foundation for ice cream. Lord of the towels to bind them and to care, travel as a hitchhiker and find the question. You, to me, are an open book, written in Comic Sans. Thank you. Stay on stage. Thank you for that last text. And all finalists, come up on stage and you will stay here. Because we will have to ask you now, come to the front, they're not biting you. Now, to motivate you, we'll throw in a bit of a chocolate because you will rate all this now. You have remembered what these texts were like. Okay, you and you have been crying up a long time. So you will now, through your applause, rate which texts you like the most. And we will then find the winner of the first Chaos Communication Slam in Leipzig and everywhere. Um, uh, are you all standing up the right way? Right. I would like to hear... Let's start in the reverse order. I would like to hear... You have to put everything into this if you are in favor of this poet, but especially for those that you like the most. You clap a bit more. And that's why I want to hear an applause for the Twitter short story collection of Simon. Applause. Uh, in the back there, I hear some foot stamping. That's well done. Great. Uh, and uh, then Smook told us a school graduation farewell speech. Very courageous. It shocked me at first. So, therefore, a huge applause to Smook. Do you have a fan group back there? I don't know. Do Apparently. All right. You're good. You're in the final. Uh, Cat takes uh, over the world domination. A great applause for Tia. Okay, okay, I see. There are dog people here. And now the last question of the last poet. The carrying around diskettes with 
und self. Oh, yeah. Grand uh, applause for Joseph. Oh, Yusef, I think, is the name. You're not making it easy. We have overrun a lot. Angels are all tired, including translators, and you'll make me even more tired now. So all these poets have been wonderful. They've had great texts. It was a huge fun that this stupid idea was now, the schnapps idea, as Germans say, is now going to be turned into real schnapps. So I want to hand over the prizes. Traditionally, in the slam in Schleswig-Holstein, there's always a bottle of herb schnapps, and this bottle, the first on the Chaos Communication Congress, goes to Yusef. Huge applause to Yusef. And all participants, come on. You won't leave empty handed either. Turn it up to 11. Thank you for being here. Thanks to all poets. Come back here. All poets, applause to all poets. They fought bravely. And the schnapps will be div divided fairly. We are a small communism here. And keep that applause up. Buy these people beer if you meet them at the bar and from us writers to our fantastic organizers, give it all. Thank you. Thank you.